Hello and welcome to part 3 of the morning series. Today I'm gonna talk about the task for retrieving the amount of time that we have slept during the night and we use also the weather forecast inside our task. Let's open Tasker right now. For counting the time we have slept we use two things. We use the good night trigger and we use the time slept. So in my case, when I go to sleep, I have an NFC tag on my bed. When I put my phone on that NFC tag, it will trigger a task and that's the good night task. Let me open that. So when I go to sleep, it will say good night, it will perform silent mode, it will do auto sync off. And the important thing for us is the variable set and we gonna use the times. If you have seen my previous tutorials, you know the global variable times is the date and the time inside seconds. So we gonna put all that inside a new variable start sleep. That's what we are doing when we going to sleep. Okay. Our morning task when we wake up, we want to know how long we have slept. So we perform a task called time slept. Let me open that and you will see here several things. First of all, let's play it. You have slept 9 hours and 19 minutes. And it says we have slept 9 hours and 19 minutes. The first thing we're gonna do is a variable set stop sleep to times. So we're putting the times right now inside stop sleep. It's quite easy. And then we're gonna do some math. So we're gonna do also a variable set and we're gonna create a new variable time sleep. And time sleep will be stop sleep minus start sleep divided by 3600. We're gonna divide that by 3600 because we want the result in hours and minutes. So we're gonna do 3600. And of course, when we divide something, we have to do maths, of course. That's quite easy. Let's go back. And then I'm using flash time sleep. I'm using this only for showing you what the result is. So you could follow what's happening right now. After that, I will delete or disable that action. So while we play that again, let's play that and watch to the number inside the flash. You have slept 9 hours and 22 minutes. And you saw in the flash 9.366. Okay. So we have to split the variable time sleep with a splitter point. And the numbers before the point are our hours. So we're gonna set a variable set our sleep to time sleep one, the first part of that. Then the second part, we're gonna convert that to our numbers. So we're gonna do time sleep two, the numbers after the point to zero point and then those numbers. So remember, our number was 9.366. That was our number. So in this case, we're gonna put 366 to 0. 0.366 that's what's happening here inside action number six and then we're gonna do action number seven we're gonna do that times 60 times 60 okay so we have 21.96 and as we see the results you will see here 22 minutes so we're gonna round that number and for that case we're gonna use the method rounds. So here we do uh, the variable mind slim to round time sleep two times 60. And then we use a say command. And at the end, we also doing an auto notification and we saw that right here. So we do a title time slept and our text is you have slept your hours sleep, hours and min sleep variable 
minutes and we also use an icon that's the only thing what happened there let's go back so that's the task for retrieving the time you have slept and then our weather forecast the weather forecast is quite easy we use an HTTP get and we use variable set we use variable split etc etc I've explained those in also other tutorials I will put the link of the video where I've explained that so you can retrieve any information from any website let's play that task also one second please i'm retrieving the forecast the weather today cloudy minimum temperature 7 degrees celsius and maximum temperature 15 degrees celsius so that's my task and my phone tell me the weather forecast so the only thing you need to do is going to our main task the morning task fill and do also a perform task so we had in the previous tutorials perform task morning task time date and now we have also time slept and the weather forecast also what I did here is when I click on one action I've set the priority to 10 okay let's go back and let's play everything what we got right now Good morning, let the stress begin. It's now 1 o'clock 04. It's now Sunday the 16th of March 2014. You have slept 9 hours and 28 minutes. One second please, I'm retrieving the forecast. The weather today, cloudy, minimum temperature 7 degrees Celsius and maximum temperature 15 degrees Celsius. So that's what we got right now. Remember, it's not finished our morning task. There are also upcoming tasks in my next tutorials as well. So follow me if you like those morning series. Also, if you have any comments, questions, you can leave that on my YouTube channel or Google community. And if you like it, of course, you can give it a thumbs up. See you in the next tutorial. Bye.